Joined today by Frankie Corrado and Brian Hayes. Guys, NHL Halloween parties go pretty hard, as you know, all too well. Pretty big night. <laughs> Going to ask you about your own personal <laughs> favorites later. They're scary, there's funny, and then there's, uh, as evidence behind us here, Ken and Barbie. Time now to run down some of the best costumes of the year. And one of my own personal favorites and very great timing on this, Connor Hellebuck and his wife, as Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, guys. Yeah, great timing, but very predictable in 2023, right? Gino, like everyone's going. You're going to take one. a shot at the guy I'm taking for a being shot. predictable. There's, and there's no creativity here, but what I like, this is the ultimate guy move in 2023 because you need a jersey and a hat. Nothing else. Nothing else. You're Nothing good. else. It's perfect for Hellebuck. It's perfect. And the risk you run with this is that someone else on the team is showing up to the Halloween party <laughs> wearing the exact same thing, and we're going to have multiple Travis Kelseys He's and Taylor He's the veteran, Swift. though. He makes the call. Yeah. All right. Here's one that's a little bit more personal, and that's Brandon Montour's son as Sam Bennett. What do you think? When you have an opportunity to incorporate a teammate into your costume, that is number one. That is the best thing you can possibly do. Everyone in the room loves that kind of stuff. And this just kind of writes itself, doesn't doesn't it? It's a perfect look. He needs to throw massive hits, though, right? Sam Bennett, he <laughs> throws massive hits. They get a video of that kid throwing a massive hit. That would be huge. The Boston Bruins winning on the ice and winning as well in the Halloween scenario. The Boston Bruins is the cast of Barbie. How's that for timing and that success? Perfect. I mean, just as predictable as the, the Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey situation. But, you know, when you see a movie go this big, it's like everyone's following a certain theme. And this one's as good as it gets. Yeah, loud colors. I think it's suitable for athletes as well, right? Like you, you're you wearing spandex and you're <laughs> loud and you're getting into it. Barbie, obviously big in 2023. I appreciate it. Let's be honest, the Bruins, with the way they're playing, they could do anything at this point. Uh, speaking of Barbie, how about Ivan Barbashev and Te as Ted Lasso? This is one of the shows I never jumped on board with, but again, it's it's simple. It's easy for the guy, which I appreciate. <laughs> you get a fake mustache, maybe a pair of shades, throw on a hat, a crew neck sweater, and you're gone. And it's I, actually beautiful. And you have to you have to like live out what Ted Lasso would do. So you got to go up to people and have positive things to say about them. Try and affect their life in a positive way throughout the evening. And I think you could follow through with that. Mika Zibanejad and his wife as new mom and new dad. See, this is very, very fitting because I've done this, Gino. I know you've done this, Gino. I've been through this before. That is art imitating life and it's actually beautiful my kids are four and almost eight now so i'm out of that but i've been living this for a long time well and this is good too because like you said you don't need to put much into this you don't need the, the you don't need to do your hair there's no makeup involved in fact you could just wake up right out of the wrapper right. and be ready to go and they're leaving early let's clarify that <laughs> no so 10 o'clock they're they out of they have the latest. best they excuse home. ever all right, guys, next up, a blast of the past. Michael McCarron and his wife as Cruella DeVille and a D Dalmatian. Not bad. What they were trying to replicate was this. This is TJ Oshie and his wife a couple of years ago with the same costume. Dude, I'll tell you what. There's just some things you cannot do. That is one of them. You cannot be walking around on a leash letting your wife walk. I, I just I just think that's the one church. of those ones, honey. The there's church. just no chance we're doing but this. But it's massive dedication, right? It is. It's, it's, for starters, that... I can't even believe, oh, she's dressed like that. I can't even <laughs> believe that I missed this because I don't remember seeing that a couple of years ago. But the dedication to get into the costume, Cruella DeVille is a massive dedication on top of what he is as a Dalmatian. It's amazing. The boys will never let it go. But he's a vet. Again, he can get away with that kind of stuff. If he was a rookie, that's a fine. Absolutely. <laughs> he's, in the, like, he's in the minors. Expensive fine. By November 1st, he's in the minors. Yeah. Speaking of risk takers, how about this? Yes, he put Yarby. He's a free agent, but still took the time to dress up as ice spice. <laughs> I was going to say, is he in the league anymore? Like, how does this even work? Here's the thing. You got to be attached to a team. Like, you can't just dress up and yeah. be like, hey, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the mix here for Halloween. Ice spice. And who's playing Pete Davidson? Do we even know? It doesn't really matter. It's someone else that isn't in the NHL. So it's that's, all good. that's not where our eyes go on this picture. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so this is not a costume. Our next one right now. But it is a suggestion for a costume for you, Hayes, the tortured Leaf fan. Yes. Well, I've been wearing it my whole life, Chino, so it might as well continue. I mean, I actually take it off on Halloween. I wear something different on Halloween because I take one night a year off. That seems reasonable. It, yes, for and, sure. And Frankie, we already know your costume for, for tonight, right? Thank the, you. DJ Frankie. Yeah, we're see? bringing it back. Yeah. How much production went into that? <laughs> How much money was spent? How much did the company invest? Because that's one of the coolest videos ever. You talk about it, though. You're not a rookie at TS anymore. 
but you're not far off, that's not going to, you're not going to live that down anytime no, soon. No, and you know what? I will embrace that fully. Anytime for your show, you need some music suggestions. I'm happy to help you out. I never dressed as DJ Pauly D in my time. I wish I did. My best Halloween costume when I was a healthy scratch for a million straight games in a row. <laughs> I dressed as Where's Waldo as a little shot. <laughs> yeah. I, like, Coach it was, loved it was that, on I purpose. Where's Frankie? I figured like that was going to make the rounds, and it would just be a little shot. Oh 100% intentional. On that note, from the 7-Eleven family, happy Halloween, everyone.